Welcome back guys, it's Cody with Wrangler Star. As you can see, I've been pretty busy up at the property running the chainsaw mill and cutting timbers. It's been a, a lot of work and uh, it's a kind of a slow process and I don't have them all cut, but uh, pretty close. One more trip up there and I'll be finished. So I just unloaded these and what you're looking at are primarily uh, the remaining two rafters and the 4x4 pur purlins. And what those are going to look like, as you can see, are right here. That's actually the top, which would be called the ridge. And then you see the beam pocket right there. Purlin, purlin. What those are for are those are supports. So the, the decking will go up and down, and then the roof, roofing material will go on top of that. So I have, if I can get far enough back here, I have uh, two... Of the three, I guess you would call them uh, well, trusses or the completed uh, rafters uh, done right here. And you can see the ridge. Now, the plans that I was building off of, I featured, I, sh I showed you in a book uh, on videos past of the plans I was working off of. As I've said before, they were very, in my opinion, very vague and, and somewhat poorly done. And I've um, uh, made a few revisions on that. One thing that they did not have was an overhang. What an overhang is, is where your roof hangs over the side of your building. And that's really important here in the Pacific Northwest where we get so much rain. And not having that, uh, you, have, you get a lot of water on your siding, uh, you get issues with uh, leaking windows, and it's just not ideal in, 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 a, in a true rainforest like what we live in. So what I've done is rather than stop that ridge, halfway at the center of the pocket, as it was called for in the prints, like you can see right here, I've uh, saddle notched it. Oh, I don't know if you can see it here. Yeah, you can kind of see it right there. It has a little knot that broke out there. That's all right. I saddle notched it uh, to fit around there. And then over here, you can see it sits in the pocket. This being the center rafter, then we'll have another one that goes off to the other side. So, a lot, there's a lot going going on in that joint right there. That's for sure. But kind of cool. It kind of gives you a, a a visual of what the roof is going to look like. This would be two thirds of it, but pretty exciting. It's going to be really uh, cool. I mean, these are really heavy rafters. The six by sixes, full dimension, and then the full dimension four by four purlins. And uh, that'll be cool. So in, um, as far as the overhang, there was also, you know, this being the gable end here, uh, there was no overhang here. So the roofing was to stop right here with some flashing. And, and this is basically the outside of the wall. We're going to put two by six tongue and groove fur decking on here uh, that'll run 